Anybody, any more stragglers out there in the hallway? Anybody rubbing their buffalo fingers on? We're going to get started in about 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds. Does anyone have a mint for me? Funny guy, funny guy. And by the way, the costume change is not because I think I'm Lady Gaga. It's because I was literally swimming under my armpits. So that's just honest. I'm just being, can I be vulnerable with you? It was nasty, right? This area. Swamp arm. Oh, look. A mint. These are very tiny. But they're curiously strong. Whew. The posters that you saw during the last few minutes is a guy named Matt Baylor. Oh, look. There he is. Lives right here in Hickory and designs all these posters for Wilco and other big name musical acts throughout the country. Pretty amazing that these uh, posters come right here from our hometown. All right. Is everybody full? Everybody pleasantly full? Just the just right amount of chicken salad for you? You're cold? Oh, we're about to heat things up in here. I'm not a smart man. All right, to begin our next session, we have a musical treat for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Denise Baxter Yoder. But it takes connections to do so. So let me be the first to make a connection with you. While Mike is 
tuning his heart. My name is Denise Baxter Young, here is my friend Mike Willis. We play together in a group called, called Pudding Stone. Altogether, there are seven of us. Um, we're kind of a Celtic, Americana, bluegrass, classical beach band. <laughs> so we're kind of eclectic. Independently, we also work in smaller groups. As musicians, we have different careers and avocations as well. But the one thing we all share in common is a big love for music. And this process that you see Mike doing, tuning up, is part of every time. Everything we do is all about fine-tuning. And you do that in your daily lives, too. You fine-tune all your ideas in your working life and in your personal life. So Mike does that with his heart to make sure you're having the best possible listening experience. And you, as the audience, are doing the same thing here today at this event as you hear all these ideas presented and you're deciding which ones you're going to take home and keep up here and then share with others. So I want you to stay tuned because this next song we're going to do deals with another type of connection. And it's called Brazilian Seas. And you might ask, well, what does that have to do with a local connection? Well, this song originated because of a life experience, not mine, but Mike's. He went to Brazil many years ago when he was a young man. He followed his heart there. And he fell in love with the people and the culture and the music. And then when he came back to North Carolina, it influenced his musical writing. He wrote this song. I wrote the lyrics to it many years later when I joined the group. And this is what I imagine his trip to Brazil would have been like.
that she and I have written is called Water's Edge. Absolutely gorgeous. 
And um, I'm going to let the song actually kind of speak for itself. So I want you to tune in, listen up to the words for borders and boundaries, which is really what this is about, moving beyond borders and boundaries. One more round of applause.